Today we discuss the VLOOKUP function of Salesforce. It is only for validation roles. It's very helpful. VLOOKUP only works on custom object. It can uh, only be used in validation roles, can be used to prevent duplicate records. The field to look up must be in the name field. So this is uh, can be used for data quality management. Um, uh, let's do a uh, uh, demo on that. So let's go to a, I have a, um, you know, object. So it has a, um, an billing zip code and billing state. Um, but I need to uh, verify it, it is um, the billing zip code is valid or not so they shouldn't uh, enter the incorrect values so so what i did was i create a new table called zip code yeah zip code so for the sake of uh, demo it has a ohio this is my zip code 453238 um it should allow only Four five two three eight uh, with Ohio. If you enter Ohio, because um, the zip code are fixed. The um, they are from the United States Postal Service. Ooh. So let's go back to the um, to the uh, other object where we have um, zip code. Uh, let's say test one. Um, this is the postal code I enter like four five I enter uh, two three five which is uh, wrong zip code for higher we look at the validation rule a little bit later so let's see how it work please enter correct zip code so if I enter four five t through eight it should go through Let's uh, look at the validation rule here. Go to custom object. So this is the validation rule I created. So the VLOOKUP function, um, you have to use a name field. Name field is if you go to the zip code um here uh this is the uh, zip code name is a name field right if i want to, if you want to go to the object uh, of the zip code object definition go to field and relationship this is the name field is zip code name um that is uh, four, uh, four five Five digit number state is a uh, custom field. Um, so you have to use name for lookup field in Salesforce. Um, let's go to the here. So uh, if you go to the um, this the other one, other the parent or. Uh, where we enter data for validation let's go to field and relationship it has a billing state and billing postal code if you enter state and uh, postal code which is zip code you validate against the table zip code table right so that what we do um, let's go to validation role you gotta we look up returns um, the uh, state you want to return the state where it matches right you name is zip code and then you pass to the um, lookup object which is i shouldn't say the lookup object it is um, uh it's a, not the standard cell for lookup but this is where we have reference data for zip code uh, so comparing table so you from the 
parent one, uh, you pass a billing zip code and the name is you validate again the zip, uh, the name which is a zip code in the validation table, right? You return the state. So if it doesn't match the billing state here in your parent, it throws an error here. That's how it works. Uh, if you want to um, enlarge here so you could see the um, you can see it is no syntax errors here uh, now you could see it well so that's how it works if you go to um, this is most um, least understood least utilized uh, feature of Salesforce validation rules when you this lookup Fill in validation rule, validate again the existing data of another. So you usually all other validation uh, functions here, they um, uh, validate again the uh, data entered in the uh, record. So this is go, this goes beyond that. So unfortunately this works only on custom objects. There is an idea. Um, to uh, fix this uh, in uh, cells, uh, cause um, standard objects. I mean, it's pretty old. They haven't uh, that, that done it. They haven't done it yet. So if you look, this is the VLOOKUP function. Let me remove this for to show you. When you enter the select, it says the VLOOKUP field return field on the lookup object lookup value. Um, if you, the funniest thing is Salesforce doesn't have good documentation in that. If you go to help on this function, see what happens. As of now, it goes to an invalid uh, page here. Here, looks like uh, Salesforce even abandoned this look, enhancing or uh, lookup feature and supporting it. So, but it works well uh, on uh, for validation against uh, custom object and then um, you can avoid apex validation as well so this is very useful uh, function we look up in validation rule please do it wisely it's very hard it's hard to understand um, uh, but you have to spend like half a day on this then you understand it is by looking at that you don't understand at all even I had a hard time initially so I spent like three four hours did research um, so when you do a Google search you don't get good information on this VLOOKUP function of Salesforce validation I got when I did that I went to um, this guy is a focus on force he's um, it is useful uh, and also I saw this is useful um, uh, we look up for uh, apex hours uh, so it uh, so i implemented the, the apex hours team but um, i haven't seen uh, so good demos like i did on the internet on the youtube or the videos yeah so the so good luck with that so play around try to understand correctly i also i hope uh, Salesforce try to move this to standard object as well. Thank you.